I became a designer by accident. I always made stuff as a kid. So I was always sticking things together, making characters, lots of puppets, lots of toys. I was always playing. So I ended up majoring in sculpture and illustration, which then took me into the theater world by accident because I used to perform with things that I'd made. Performance was my link to live design. And so I've done it ever since. I used to imagine that it was from a faraway realm, a realm where anything could happen. My practice centers around storytelling. My job as a designer is to calibrate the visuals and make sense of what a director or what a team is trying to create. Good shot. You should play hockey. As a designer, I work in theater. I have worked in opera. I've worked in dance, performance, contemporary performance. I've worked as a production designer for film and for television. Mort. Hi, Beep. Finding the right form or aesthetic depends on what the text tells you. And if there is no text, then what the feeling world is. If there's something that needs to be set inside a pub, you kind of have to sort of do a pub. But if some things are a little bit more abstract and more about feeling, like a dance show perhaps, then that's where you can kind of feed it with probably more of yourself. Rather than being a production designer, you become an artist. 50% of my work would be for adults and 50% for younger audiences. And I think that's because there's a playfulness in the way that I make pictures. That the way that I treat the work is exactly the same. They both deserve the same kind of sophistication as each other. In a lot of the things that I do, colors end up being assigned to certain feelings in the work, certain stories that are being told, certain characters, and then it becomes its own character as well they usually end up being quite bold, the colour systems. I don't know why it happens, but it always seems to occur. It's just like a friend of mine. Colour tends to speak to me, sometimes more than form and shape. The feeling of being a storyteller, making up worlds, hidden lives of objects, and also creating spaces that were populated with those characters, made me feel good to solve problems and put things together in uncertain ways that weren't just decorative. This week I'm back in Adelaide rehearsing Creation Creation, which is a show that I've made with some other artists at Windmill Theatre. Creation Creation is documentary theatre. We asked people between the ages of eight and 102 what greatest mystery they would like an answer to. My name is Barbara and I'm 94. I think I would like an answer to how did the world begin? The results of that, myself and my co-performer and maker, Fleur Elise Noble, illustrate or try to answer on stage. So it's an audio-based show that we construct live imagery to with a bit of contemporary dance thrown in there sometimes. The development of this show was super fun, but also it's a puzzle because the basis of the work is based on a Fluxus art idea, which is that someone asks a question and then the next person answers that. They then ask a question, it gets answered and it continues. My name is Molly and I am nine years old. I want to know, is there other life in the universe? Everything in this show has to connect to everything else. It can be quite stifling when things don't work the way you want them to. There's lots of things that can break. There's lots of magnets, lots of making stuff live. It's quite chaotic, so things can end up sometimes where they're not supposed to and you can't find them. It's fun, but if something's not there, you've got to find something else pretty quick. I want to actually know if humans actually create babies. The task for us in the room when rehearsing was to try to work out a method and what the form was. We eventually decided that the method was to just be intuitive and that the form was almost everything. Why are we here? Yeah, why are humans here? What is like the purpose of life itself? How do you know what your purpose is? I want someone to tell me what my purpose in life why is. Why am I here? It's an emotional experience, especially the scenes around death and saying goodbye. It's very moving and I think that people are surprised that it does take us through full journey of our emotional kind of landscape as well. 
what does it feel like to die? Because once you're dead, you can't come back and say, I, um, I know what it feels like to die. So I kind of want to know that, but I don't want to know that because then I'll be dead. I can't say what it feels like to die, but I can say what it's like to be with someone when they die. I think it's a very blurry line between design and art, especially for me. There's so many ways that things that are very beautiful can be a work of art, but also be functional. Performing in a show that you've kind of invented is sort of where I started. In no way am I an actor. It's a gentle style of performance, probably closer to clown. It feels close to home.